everyone. Um, this video is going to tell you or give you my first impressions of the Merrill Trail Glove, which is a minimalist shoe designed for barefoot running styles, um, going out on the basically when you need to go out and um, you need a bit of support underneath or a bit of protection, but with, uh, with nothing really on top other than holding the shoe in place. Um, the reason that I'm trying these, uh, I got injured earlier in the year from wearing my standard neutral running shoe, as you can see here. Now, I think the reason I got injured was because I had them done up too tight, so it wasn't necessarily that uh, I can't run in, in neutral shoes. But back then, um, I went to see a podiatrist because I got injured. Um, basically discomfort and then a shooting pain down the sides of my feet he kind of ignored what I told him and said okay uh, I'm going to convince you to pay out for some custom orthotics hundred and whatever hundred and ninety pound later I had these little fellas so um, I put those in went out for a run exactly the same thing started occurring so I was out of action for a while and um, during that time I trained up for some triathlons. I bought myself a road bike so I could keep fit still. And one thing I did for the triathlon was put in some elastic laces. Now, what that did was it allowed the, uh, the shoe to stretch it a bit more. And I found that by loosening up these laces during a run, the discomfort was, was going. So I think the problem was that my, I had my shoes and my running shoes done up too tight. Now, that may or may not be the case, but it certainly seems it to me. And since then, I've thrown the orthotics out, goodbye, <laughs> and I've been running in my neutral shoes, but without the orthotics. And although I can feel it a little bit in my knees because they've obviously adjusted to me landing with the orthotics over time, uh, my feet feel absolutely fine. Now, that made me think that maybe I'd like to try more of a barefoot running style because I do quite like landing on the forefoot anyway. Um, I feel much lighter on my feet when I do that. So I've been running on the treadmill about 1k a day to try and get my muscles used to the forefoot landing and what I've found is that my calves and my shins really do notice it at the moment so uh, as is recommended I'm trying to take it really easy and really slow. So I've done a couple of weeks of uh, on and off the treadmill completely barefoot and today I decided to go out and try my new Merrill trail gloves and see what they were like. Um, you'll see a few clips in a minute of me out, out running in them and I will tell you a bit more about them afterwards. So I started with a run in my, um, my standard shoes because as I said I don't want to go too far at the moment in barefoot or Merrills. You can see the trails that I'm, uh, I'm running on so they're not really well, as far as I'm concerned, not suitable for barefoot. So um, went out and did some some distance without them. Then put the merrows on and out. So you can see it's fairly uh, rocky, and um, that's the reason, as I said before, that I want, I needed a little bit of uh, comfort underneath or a bit of uh, protection underneath. Uh, first impressions, apart from the fact that I look like I'm wearing a skirt, <laughs> which I'm I'm not honestly. They're shorts over my uh, over my running tights. Uh, first impressions are they're very light and uh, you hardly know you've got them on but the um, the soles are very protective um, a lot harder than they thought they would be actually so you don't get a lot of feel through them but on this kind of uh, terrain uh, there's no way I'd want to go barefoot on this I know some of the hardcore barefooters probably would but for me um, they felt fantastic uh, no socks didn't need socks on um, didn't run very far as I said so I don't know about blistering and things like that so um, they seem they seem good for the short run that I've done. I will uh, I'll do another video when I've been wearing them for a while and I've increased the distance so just, a bit. Um, just a little bit more. About One thing I will say is the uh, I was talking about the toe toe area. As you can see, it's quite a wide toe area, and if you look from the side as well, you can see that the toe sticks up quite high. Now what that means is um, it means that my wife has said she wouldn't want to see me out in these with her as a general walking shoe because they look like clowns, uh, clown shoes, which is a fair point. So I think it's quite clear that you need these for the running. Um, I think Merrill do walking shoes as well, which I, I would imagine don't have this, but uh, yeah. They look quite nice, but um, 
that is a bit odd at the front there but it's obviously ideal for running because you're pushing off the toe as you're going now as i said um, earlier in the video my toe is touching the mesh here and i think that um, when you go out with these uh, when you when you order these shoes you probably need the same size as your normal walking shoes not a size up like you tend to need in normal running shoes so um, i'll see how that goes but i anticipate this is going to wear quite quickly and next time i need to buy some that are a bit smaller obviously as you can see a bit late to send these back now um, but we'll see how we get on um, nip over to race2100.co.uk for our podcast and uh, more reviews and information about an amazing challenge.